Hello my friends and welcome, welcome back. Yes, school's in with another session with the older man. So today I want to talk about two subjects, love, respect, love and respect. Now, there's one very important thing that most couples don't understand about each other. Women want love, men want respect. That's the easiest and simple way to understand it. But what the hell is respect? We sort of get an idea of what love is. It's kind of a loose understanding from both sides of what it is. But that's a, that's a fluff feeling. Respect is much easier to be defined. And we know, without a doubt, one thing is very obvious in today's environment. Women have very little respect for men. And it blows my mind because men built the world. But because of the push of the whole ethnicism, the push of the female empowerment type thing, a lot of women think, okay, I can bring a man down to build myself up. That's pretty much what it's all about. And I want, you show, I want to show you a prime example of that with this one simple Uber ride. Before we go on, guys, come on, give me a thumbs up so that you can tell this algorithm that you're going to get some knowledge in this video. All right, now let's watch this little interaction with this Uber driver and then you'll understand how disrespect works. Hey, what'd you just do? Sorry? Did you just cancel the ride? No. Uh -oh. The ride just ended. Why, why did you do that? What do you mean? What do you mean? Did you just cancel the ride? No. Oh, let, me, let me see your phone then. Oh, that's illegal. I can't. I'm not going to kiss That's illegal. You, I don't know. You, somebody sent on the ride. That's my privacy. Like, oh. I was just texting my boyfriend. Okay, well, I don't know. Well, somebody, you got to reorder the ride then because I like the rides. Just Why are you stopping? Well, because you canceled the ride, so. I didn't. I don't know if you watch TikTok, but like there's a trend that where people can end the ride. Did okay. you guys see that? I, I feel like you're trying to scam us right now, and I really don't. Me scam you guys? I'm really, really uncomfortable, honestly. I would appreciate if you just keep going. No, no, I'm not going to keep going because you literally canceled the ride. Are you joking? Why are you raising your voice at me? Because you're, you're trying to take Why advantage of me. me? It's just because I'm Mexican. Oh, okay. like you just. Oh, okay, okay. So, do you not make it this You know what? You know what, you guys? I just caught you red-handed. You know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? Firstly, I'm recording this, so I'm posting on TikTok. Secondly, my phone is going to blow it up. You're, you're, you're and secondly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you to the police station, okay? There's one right around the corner. Shut up! Excuse me? You do not. What are you, from the South? Hell no. You do not talk to me. All right, there's a police station right up here in the corner. Okay. Do you know who my father is? You just heard one disrespect after the next. One after the next. Okay? No level of respect for this man. They felt that they could just cancel the ride and just take the money out of this man's pocket. Just rip him off right away. And then when he called them out on it, what did they do? Gaslight the hell out of him with disrespect. But, but I would have loved to see the follow-up to this when he pulled up to a police station. If you look at the video again and look at her face when she canceled that ride, oh man. Let's read a couple of the comments. Paul John said, when you play clown games, you get clown prizes. Exactly. I like him. Did she just say, do you know who my father is? Be nobody, you in, you in the Uber. <laughs> That's probably what it is. Because you know what? She shouldn't even have mentioned that, man. Wow. Did Jessica Maria say, I hope they get arrested for thief of services. Eh, English, but hey, you, you get what I'm saying. They have no idea this could have ended real bad. These young ladies are going to F around and find out, shaking my damn head. So all I want to say is that we are living in a society where women no longer fear men's wrath. Simply because they know that they are protected by, by law enforcement. And all it takes is one call. I'll show you another example of this here, where... It's personal, right? You're not leaving right now. I'm leaving. Why can't I leave? I don't want to leave with you. Open the door. Open the door. Mommy! Open the door. I'm trying to leave. Mommy, get out! Please! What are you talking Mom. about? Please get out! Please! Please! I haven't Please. done anything. Get out now! Okay. I mean, I haven't done anything. Stop recording me, I you dick! Done, I haven't done anything wrong. Mom! 
I saw her talk to another boy. I said, scroll mommy, up. She scrolled up. She asked another boy to come over that night. The night she was talking to me. Mom, so I said, I'm leaving. Mom. She said, why are you leaving? Mom, mama, please. And now she's going crazy because I'm trying to leave. Fucking smash it, you dickhead. That's a lie? Yes, you did. That's Don't lie. fucking lie. I didn't touch your phone. Stop it, mommy. Mom. Hey. Give it to me. You fucking took it off my bed. I didn't take it off yes, my bed. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, the fuck you did. No, I did not. I'm where did I throw you it? You fucking grabbed me. I grabbed you where? On my fucking neck. Shut On up. On your neck? Where? Shut the fuck up, you Where? Dick. You pushed me away. Where on your neck did I grab you? Bitch, you fucking grabbed me. Where? Okay, maybe there's not evidence, but you fucking did it, you <laughs> asshole. Get the... Adam. Gentlemen, make sure that you are recording at all times. The second you see these ladies get out of pocket, pull out your recorder. Otherwise, you will be screwed. Because all it takes is one event, like the Puff Daddy event, that is now perpetrating the mainstream and all over the internet. And it's going to go back to believe all women. Trust me, that's going to take a spike again. Believe all women because of that one event. And for that, a lot of men are going to pay the price. Did you see the news a couple of days ago? A guy went to prison for 31 days from an accusation of a woman who told police that he grabbed her in the parking lot. The guy wasn't even anywhere near there. 31 days, it took them to actually find out the girl was lying. The man wasn't even in the same freaking city at that time. And you know why she said it? Because she saw him cross her workplace a few weeks earlier and he looked creepy. He looked creepy. And she took down his truck number and did that to that man. 31 days that man spent in prison before she was found out to be lying and she admitted she was lying. The lack of respect for men is at an all-time high, gentlemen. The second you are in a position where you are vulnerable, where a woman is getting hysterical or she's, or she's trying to, to show that you are doing something for her, pull out your phone, start recording. That'll either quiet her down or at least you will get evidence from it. A lot of women don't accept the reality that men take respect over love Absolutely. any day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any day, every day of the week and twice on Sunday. Respect me before mm -hmm. you love me. And then women position themselves where it's like, well, I'll take safety over love. Mm. Damn. Mm -hmm. Safety. Huh? So as long as you're, as long as I feel safe with you, I don't have to be in love with you. Because I'll, no. I'll marry the man that I respect before I marry the man that I'm in love with. You know what? Whew. When you say that out loud. She ain't lie. That kind of, that makes some sense. Yeah, no, she didn't lie. I have no rebuttals. Because the safe, the, even the safety, when I went, immediately when you said safety, I'm like, no, in my head, I'm like, no, they want to marry somebody that's financially keeping them safe. Mm -hmm. it, and it's so many different to protect. It's keeping so many different yeah. layers oh, no. of safety. But my, mine, Emotionally. keeping them safe. Keeping like, but I don't have to be in love with my husband. Because I'm not gonna always. You're is, not gonna it, always. No, no, no. Yeah. But if I'm safe, where the f I'm going? Oh, I'm right here. Here's the thing. She got a great point when it comes to respect. Men will take respect over love any day. You don't have to love me, but don't be a hoe. Don't embarrass me. Don't humiliate me. Don't try to belittle me. Respect me enough to realize, hey, we're here to build together. You're here for me whenever I need you. That's it. You don't have to love me. Now, let's look at love. Now, she says, oh, I just want to feel safe. But how do you define safety? Outside the context of finances, how do you define safety? Oh, I want to feel emotionally safe. All right. What is that? You want to feel that the man actually care enough for you so that you'll never have to need for anything. You want to make sure he's yours, meaning that you don't want to share him with anyone else. That's your idea of safety. Women's love is conditional. It is conditional on the fact that she's receiving something from you to make her feel safe. She's loving you under these conditions. She feels, ah, I'm getting X, Y, and Z. I'm good. So yes, you can say what love is. We can get into all of these definitions of love. But in reality, she only loving you because you can provide what she needs. 
a woman's ultimate goal is to find safety in, in order for her to survive. That's it. And gentlemen, you have to realize that that's the world we live in. It hasn't been anywhere different. <laughs> I'm currently watching this series with my wife now, uh, Bridgerton. Interesting. But it's a love story, you know. It's part of what makes women feel like, oh, this is so sweet. Oh, and it's all about love. But it has a lot of females' desires behind it. Of course, these women want to get the best man. But she was a virgin back then. Anything that tarnished that part of the woman where she's no longer desirable, her reputation, she, she couldn't kiss a guy back then unless she married him. So my point is, if you hold yourself in high regards and you respect the fact that I am being the best person I can for my husband or for the man that wants me, then that is your value to that man. But it all come back to what is he going to give in return? She's looking for those resources. She wants to make sure she either marries the prince or the duke or the viceroy. She wants to, she wants to get the best possible man. Simple. I'll read a few comments from that last video. The problem is nowadays people think money makes them safe. Yeah, it's part of it. They have a right to think that because money is a part of safety. Because I can tell you, if you don't have the money to stay in the best part of town or the best part of a city, you're not safe. <laughs> If you get in trouble in any way, shape, or form, and you don't have a, the, enough money to pay the best lawyer, you're not safe. If you can't buy the best insurance package and you get sick, you're not safe. So yes, money plays a major part of it. So no one can object to that. That's not a problem. The problem is, is that people want too much of it. That's where the problem is. Everybody wants the top 10% man. Yes, that's where the problem is. But can you blame them in today's environment? Nah, not really. <laughs> I want you guys to always think, imagine if you were in a position where you were the weaker sex, okay? And when you had a child that you would be even more vulnerable. Wouldn't you want those things for yourself? If you had a choice and you felt that you had the capability of getting those things that will ultimately make you not have to worry about money ever again, wouldn't you hold out or strive for the best man? The point is, yes, you would. You can't blame women for going with their nature. This is just who they are. They can't fight it. I think you guys get a little bit too upset when women actually look out for their own self. Remember, they're weaker than you. And I'm not pandering to women. I'm just pointing out a reality, guys. J79 Trini said, Asinine. So, if he make you safe and have no money management, these idiot <laughs> females gonna stay? I disagree with her. Most women marry for stability. Women just like how love sounds. They will love for money and only respect a man if he has money. Let him have no money. Watch how disrespectful they get. She full of shite. The only truth is respecting men. She fails to mention respect only comes with money for most of these hoes. Not respecting men because of their character and other factors that may matter more than money. She's single for a reason. Most of these women have learned the art of speaking pretty words to supposedly align for men. Meet them in their personal space. They can't live in their words in real life. Go ask your male friends. Laughing. Listen, he just said what I'm basically saying. Yeah, level of respect goes up for a man who can provide for her. It's as simple as that. This is the problem is women shouldn't disrespect a man who cannot provide properly for her. And when I say provide for her, he shouldn't have to provide for her in today's day and age because we are now living in an age where a woman literally leaves the house, has an education, she can get a job on her own and take care of herself. She can be independent. She can be an adult. That means that everything else being equal, they come together and build a better life together where she has companionship. She has a partner that she can grow and work with to build a family together. They're sharing expenses, and that's the only way to get ahead in today's day and age. Single women spend more money. Companies know that. That's why they want to keep women single. And it's women doing all the consuming. <laughs> you want to see a picture that, sh that tells a thousand words and backs up what I'm saying? Check out this photo here. All the men waiting for the women shopping. 
Yeah. Because men do not get gypped and get stupid out here spending stupid money. So he got to sit there and wait for his wife, run through these stores like a bloody bat out of hell buying crap. And that's the reason why men do better financially. I want you guys to listen to one more video. What happened to men pursuing girls? Are we really asking this question? When was the pivotal moment that a man chose to not go after a girl anymore and put in any effort? I don't think there was a pivotal moment. However, there's been lots of little moments that have added up to a large awakening of a lot of men in regards to whether or not it's worth it to chase women. It seems like guys can just put the bare minimum and not even really put an effort anymore. They don't really care to. Well, what's considered to be the bare minimum seems to change on a daily basis. So how can anyone truly know what the bare minimum even is? They're like, why don't girls just go and make the first movie, make the effort? That's an excellent question. Indeed. Why don't they? Did it become a thing? Now it's like role reversal where they expect girls to be making the first moves, yearning for a guy and chasing him. I imagine that happened somewhere around the same time that a lot of women were indicating to men that they want them to leave them alone. So, in a lot of cases, they got exactly what they asked for. That is, I feel like, the downfall of why it's so hard to meet someone, because men don't put an effort anymore and don't care to put an effort. But why should they? When the possible benefits of pursuing a woman are often far outweighed by the risks that they undertake in pursuing those same women. Gentlemen, instead of asking a woman, what do you bring to the table? No, don't ever do that. It's corny. It's stupid. And all you're going to do is get a stupid negative response from a woman. It's going to turn her off. What you should ask in Listen to what I'm saying, because this is going to be your ticket to understanding her and for her to appreciate you even more. You ask her these simple words. So if we were to have a relationship, what would you expect me to provide for you? Now, it does two things. It immediately opens up her eyes to automatically think, wow, this guy is willing to actually spend on me. OK, so that gets her all excited. But what it does for you is when she starts with the stupid expectations, you immediately see who she is and you can discount her or based on her. Well, she probably if she's watching this video, <laughs> she learned the secret. But if she's smart, she'll probably say, well, I don't really need you to bring me anything besides, you know, some good masculine energy, a good man that will be there to assist me if I have anything that I need that. Or I just want a man that could provide for a family that could help us out. I mean, I want to be able to contribute as well, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. In other words, if she comes back with something much more positive, then you, you can at least say, okay, she passed stage one. But if she goes on about, well, I just want a guy to provide for me and so I can stay at home and take care of the kids and I can, that's when you got to basically say, yeah, thank you. Have a good night. Because at that point, my friend, if she hasn't told you what she can do for you and what she can do for the family, that's not a good woman. All right. She has to mention something that she's going to do for the family or you. That's my point. If she's only telling you what she wants you to give her, that's not a good woman. She should identify the fact that you are willing to show her what you're going to do for her and reciprocate. If she doesn't do that in that conversation, she does not have your interest in mind. It's all about her and what she can take from you. Okay, so guys, listen, I hope you learn a few lessons here. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up on this message on your way out. And of course, if you want to book a session, get me over on askanolderman.com. If you have a quick question, get me over on Instagram on askanolderman. Okay, so until next time, remember guys, whenever in doubt, always ask an older man. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.